Good morning from the Orlando Eye. It looks like they've got some spooky stuff going on. Look at that giant spider back there. The main reason that we came here to the Orlando Eye complex today is because Madame Tussauds has dressed up their Tom Hanks figure as David S. Pumpkins. So that was the draw, but it looks like there might be some other spooky stuff going on. So let's give it a look. Hashtag Orlando Halloween selfie spot right there. So I like how they put a giant hashtag behind you with this, look at this giant spider. There are spiders all over the Orlando eye. Oh my goodness. I do like the big one though. You can just barely see his little like fangs, I guess, sticking out. But I like that it looked like the eye was his web. Oh, he's like moving around in the wind. Ooh. So as I said outside, David S. Pumpkins is inside Madame Tussauds. And we've been to Madame Tussauds quite a few times. So we'll put a couple of links in the corner here for you guys to check out and see what Madame Tussauds is all about. Let's go see David S. Pumpkins. I do have to admit, I feel like the creepiest thing about Madame Tussauds is just coming around corners and having people just staring at you like Ponce de Leon. Oh, jeez Louise, that scared the heck out of me. There was a cannon shot. Ponce de Leon is looking into my soul. I do have to stop every time and say hello to Walt. How you doing, old friend? Madame Tussauds is ruthless. Look at this, she ripped this. Oh, it's just a wax figure. I thought she had ripped somebody's head off. Oh no, it looks like Muhammad Ali. I think that's who it was. Muhammad Ali is gone. Oh no. Dale Jr. is still here. Looking happy as ever. Taylor, I really like your bedazzled guitar. Look at that thing. Are you Justin Bieber? I feel like Pitbull and J-Lo were not here the last time that I was in here, so this is pretty awesome. I feel like this is an inaccurate depiction of Jimmy Fallon because he's not laughing at his own jokes. Ha <laughs> ha! Any questions? I feel like this was the most brilliant thing that any wax museum could do, is dress Tom Hanks up like David S. Pumpkins. It looks like they've got outfits for you to put on too and be David S. Pumpkins with him. Any questions? This is fun. I like this a lot. Like, I like that I have a, a David S. Pumpkins outfit on with David S. Pumpkins. They also have a, like, skeleton outfit so you can be the dancers next to him doing their little dance thing. They also have wigs, but I don't, I'm not gonna put a wig on because who knows? Well, there you go. It says that David S. Pumpkins is courtesy of Universal Studios. I still love the juxtaposition between Shrek and Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> oh, Stevie. He's checking out and looking over E.T., making sure that E.T. doesn't go anywhere. But I feel like he probably should because he's got to go back to the green planet and save it, right? Took a picture with Neymar and there's all these cameras around the outside to get like an action shot. And I tripped. Let's see if it came out. I never saw a preview. It just says sign up at the entrance. Well, what the heck? I don't know if it worked or not. I'll see. Maybe I'll get an email later that'll show me tripping. Maybe? Oh, it's like a party in here, and Jennifer Aniston has stopped looking at Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Now she's checking out Leo. Yeah, Leo. Jen Aniston's giving you the eyes. High five. All right. I think the last time that we came, Lady Gaga wasn't here either. There she is. She's actually, you don't actually have to pay to go into the museum to get a picture with Lady Gaga. She's on the outside, right here next to the, uh, the ticket booth. Now that we've visited David S. Pumpkins, let's go up in the Orlando Eye and see what we can see. So it looks like on the Orlando Eye, you've got a few options. Well, I don't think you have options, but it's the look at the draw. So there's just a regular capsule. There's the Coca-Cola capsules, which come with free Coca-Cola. And they have decorated capsules, which I'm gonna get into one of the decorated ones. I love the decorations. Look at them. They're like bats and spooky skeletons everywhere. And this spooky Halloween screams. Yeah. Ooh, this is a haunted capsule. Why did they let me into a haunted capsule? Oh man. Well, it's good news though, because witches are also welcome. Oh, the little tiny skeletons hanging from the top here too. This is amazing. <laughs> It's just fun. Well, there's the spider's big old butt right there. <laughs> also, something else that's a notable attraction that is opening in Orlando very soon, actually on October 20th, I believe, Top Golf. We're gonna try to get out there very soon and see if we can get like a little preview before it opens. You can see Volcano Bay over there, and you can see some of Universal, like there's Dr. Doom's Fear Fall and a giant rainstorm that's coming. That's fun spot. One day we're gonna need to go to Fun Spot because we haven't been in forever. I do have to admit, I feel like the iDrive 360 complex, which is what we're overlooking here where the eye is, has really grown and flourished. There's a lot of different restaurants and shops down here. So if you look in this shot right here, you can see Ripley's right there and you can see Mango's. This is the new parking garage next to Mango's. They just built this. They're still not done building it. This is where Hulk Hogan's surf shop is gonna go. It's, it's kind of across the street over here. That's the Epic McDonald's. And the Hulk Hogan surf shop's gonna move into this parking garage. The guy that owns Mango's is opening up 
the world's largest star flyer, which is like a giant swing set. So this is going to be the location of the world's largest star flyer, which is actually gonna be over 400 feet tall, which we are on the eye right now, which tops out at 400 feet. So this spinning swing set is going to be taller than the eye. Universal Orlando has bought a third piece of land, which I believe, you see this complex right here, this is Lockheed Martin. Just behind it, all throughout here, all this empty land right there, I believe that is the land that Universal Orlando just bought and could possibly start building on very soon. Kind of hard to see from here, but this land that is between these two tan hotels, that's the old Wet n Wild site, and Universal actually owns that too. From what we've heard, they're gonna put a hotel on that one. Almost at the top. Ooh! This is a scared ghost because we're so high up in the air. 400 feet almost. We've got a good view of that star flyer pad from up here. That is the base of a 400 foot set of swings. Woo buddy, sounds frightening actually. And there's Epcot right there. One of my favorite things to do with the pass on the eye is to come up here and watch the fireworks. You gotta time it out just right, but it can be done. And there you can see the contemporary and Space Mountain and just to the right of Space Mountain, kind of a lot smaller than Space Mountain, is Cinderella Castle. We're almost there. As soon as this lines up with the crack in the door, that's top dead center, 400 feet in the air. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness, 400 feet in the air. Ah! It's a scared ghost. I love Jack Johnson. Is this Jack Johnson or somebody else? The skeleton does not want me to film it dancing. Oh, the spider doesn't look so scary from up here. I like the places that advertise on their roofs so that you can see where they are from the Orlando Eye. Like this place is like, CC's Pizza is here. And then over there, there's Cafe Tutu Tango where they wrote it on the roof. Has anybody ever stayed in this castle hotel? I'd be interested to see what it's like. And there's downtown Orlando getting rained on. Uh, why, why is this song playing in here? I was just looking through their little iPad in here that kind of gives like notable places of interest to look at. One of the things they point out is Cape Canaveral or NASA, Kennedy Space Center. I'd like to come up here during a rocket launch one time and see if I can see it from the very top. It would be over there somewhere. Ding ding. It's about a 20 minute trip. I think it's uh, pretty neat to see everything that's up here though. They have a pressed penny machine for the Orlando Eye where you can get Orlando Eye, Madame Tussauds, and Sea Life pressed pennies. And then for $5, you can get all eight of them. And it takes Apple Pay. Huh. There's also a Sea Life here. I'm not gonna go into the Sea Life because it looks like there's a bunch of school groups here. So I'm gonna go off and get some lunch, I think. And we'll show you guys this little tank that's out front. Look, I have a best friend. He's like, get my good side. Oh no, he swam away. Well, here's something that's good to know. You can get Legoland tickets here at the Orlando Eye. You can also get your currency exchanged. I don't know what the exchange rate is or if it's like competitive from other places, but definitely convenient. Like I said, there are a lot of school groups. Here's some eating their lunch out on the lawn. Should be noted, the school groups go into Sea Life. I don't think they go into Madame Tussauds or onto the Eye. Definitely going to Sea Life though. As I was getting off the Eye, thinking about where I was gonna eat lunch, I was like, man, there's a lot of places to eat here. But I know that Tin Roof is good, so I think I'm just gonna go into Tin Roof and get a sandwich real quick. Here's what I got from Tin Roof. It's just a turkey club with some tater tots. It looks delicious. Look at how crispy these tater tots are. Yeah. Here's a quick overview of what Tin Roof looks like. Now there's nobody really in here right now because it's lunchtime on a weekday, but at night, because they have drink specials and stuff, this place really fills up. And then they have a live band that comes on every once in a while. So it's like a big party in here. Whoa, and look at this prize for the uh, costume contest they're gonna have on the 28th. A $500 Visa gift card. Pretty darn good. I feel like the last time that I came and ate at Tin Roof, the sandwich was bigger. Like it seemed kind of small this time. Tater tots were still just as delicious as ever though. So there you have it. There's our trip to the Orlando Eye Complex where I drive 360. Pretty awesome what they're doing here for Halloween and uh, Pretty awesome place to come and get some food and do some shopping. I really enjoyed seeing David S. Pumpkins. I really enjoyed the decorated Orlando eye capsules. But with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Here's a ground level view of where that star flyer is going. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be big.